Welcome to Symbol Tech Working Bench. Welcome back, guys, to Symbol Tech Bench. So, from a while ago, I'm working on this project. I'm gonna pop up now. It is really something, something hard. So, what am I doing here? I have a touch screen display connection touch screen display which is this one then I have a mega pro mini which is this one I have a ESP8266 a NRF uh, NRF 24L01 a RTC a nano that controls the RFID cards and here I have the power supply so it's coming 12 volt and then it's coming 5 volts here, 5 volts there, 5 volts here and 3.3 volts to these two so what is doing here is reading the temperature has the time communicate to internet and then goes through blink app that I'm controlling everything from my mobile which it's this stuff here so this is the app that I have so if I play now it's telling me that the, the module is not connected because I don't have power so why am I showing this one because I designed a motherboard for all this stuff It looks like this one so my name is underneath over here okay so I projected this board so practically this is this that one is this one this one is this one here is this one and then I have output of the relays and power in power out and stuff like that in here all the bunches of pins from Arduino Mega then I designed and I ordered from GLC PCB and cams also with the power supply board so this is the power supply what we have there here is all the circuit board so nice I want to make a nice design so if I power off this one with 12 volts I can show you what's going on here and how this one is doing and then I'm gonna start to solder all the stuff on this all the stuff on this uh, board so like pins output pins, the relays, transistors here the socket for the mega, socket for dozens and I'm gonna come back with another video uh, to show you how, how it works when it's all mounted everything what is here, mounted just on this one so let's power off this one to see what's going on here guys so I have red, 12 volts, so red is positive Black, it's negative, and I can see we have already power coming in. I have my log on this display. It's doing several times like that until it's get the connection to the internet and then go through the boot process. So if you see boot in process, and it's stacking here in 24% until it's getting the internet connection. So. It's gonna might take a, a bit of a while until it's doing all the boots set up. And look at here. So we have all internet connection working in. So this is what is gonna be in the main page. So that's the main page. Then if I go through the menu, so I have this one where I'm controlling the lights. Let me go to settings first to go up a bit with the light on this display. 
shouldn't go over. So now it's the screen more brighter. I can go back home. The main page always uh, it will gonna be a bit dimmer. But if I go now to the lights, it will gonna be back to high. So then with this one, it will gonna turn on the lights on the kitchen, on the living room, on the bedroom, on the bedroom, on the bathroom. Switching off. So in order to show you that this communicate also with my app, let me go to my app and show you now that now it's connected. And then what happens if I press the kitchen button on here? So, we can see I'm pressing the button on my mobile and it's telling me kitchen off and then kitchen off. Let's see with the bedroom, his own bedroom on, bedroom off. The same thing is happening if, I, if I'm pressing there and it's coming here. Let me also show you for the boiler controller because this is going to control also the boiler in the in the house so now it's reading 63 percent humidity 90 degrees in the house and it's sending me also to my mobile the same 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 details and if i just pressing up here i'm increasing there the temperature so last time it showed me what time was set up the the temperature inside the house in order to turn on the, the heating so I'm gonna just increase a decent temperature 17 19 20. Now it's telling me that the, the boiler is on and it's already show me the the LED here flashing on on and if I go down we go below the temperature inside the house so 19 I have a the power is there and not stable yet so that's why I want to mount everything because through the wire I'm losing power so there on the voltage regulator I'm reading 3.3 .3. here it's just 2.9 so see now we can see 19 degrees and it's coming uh, that the boiler is uh, now stopped let's focus a bit like focus focus camera Please focus. Yeah, it's focusing now. Life is focus. Anyway, you can see it's flashing the off button here. And also, you can see today is Monday 27.0, the 1st of 2020, and the time is correctly. And you can show you the time on my computer. And my See the timing on my mobile is 7.25. 724 one minute back but looks like that one is working correctly then I have here the pin in case the the alarm coming on so that's why guys I want to put everything in one board in order to be more more neat more nice so I'm gonna start to solder the stuff and I'm gonna be back soon with the video when everything is gonna be in that board that I show you before 
If you have uh, anything to comment and to ask me more about this project, please uh, feel free to leave your comment uh, in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you to the next episode.